A while back I released a video commenting on why I will not see the Ghostbusters reboot, and it surprised me how many people seemed to agree with me. You can see the original video, Perspective 577, why I won't see Ghostbusters 2016 for the context. You can find the link in the description below. I'd also recommend taking a look at the video which compelled me to make it, namely a video done by a YouTube movie coverage group named Midnight's Edge. The video is called Ghostbusters Reboot, Sony Hits Back at Fan Backlash. You can find the video in the description below. I will not say too much here, but there is one consistent comment that is repeated by the cast, director, and Sony, as well as others who seek to defend Ghostbusters Answer the Call, that all of you must see the movie, and if you don't, you are misogynists. I know this is old news, but this was the news at the time when Ghostbusters was still in its regular run in theatres. Attacks have been levelled against the Cinemassacre YouTube reviewer by the name of James Rolfe, who gave his reasons for not seeing the movie. Which, by the way, if you actually look at the context of that video, they were not sexist at all. But nevertheless, he was still attacked by the media and accused of misogyny, and Sony are guilty of comment censoring. I could go on, but the videos speak for themselves. What is interesting is that the backlash against those who have refused to see Ghostbusters answer the call is very similar to what the gay activists say. Not all gay activists, but there's a common mantra among them that says, you accept our lifestyle, or you are a bigot who deserves to rot in prison. It's the same rhetoric that's been espoused. Either accept this or be ostracized. Your choice. Now, I'm not saying that everyone who wants to see Ghostbusters answer the call is like this, but it's very telling of how similar the two groups are. I've seen James White in videos he did last year examine the Dr. Drew show, including the after comments where they lied about the interaction with White and White appropriately exposing them. It is amazing how emotional people can get when they are challenged or charged up about a certain issue. Both in the case of Ghostbusters Answer the Call and Gay Activism, we see political correctness, irrationality, accusations of bigotry, accusations of anti-progression, and accusations of hate speech. The mindset has a fascinating pattern here. I will not deny that there are hateful bigots who hate gay people or who are misogynistic, but those are the exception, not the rule. No one with sound, calm, logic, hated Ghostbusters answer the call because of women, but because it contained, in the trailers, what most people deemed to be lacklustre comedy. Likewise, no Christian is to be bigoted towards homosexuals, but as followers of Jesus, we must do what he says, and if Jesus condemns something as evil, we ought not to do it. The Bible is against sin, and we would be wise to heed its warnings. That's why, biblically, homosexuality cannot be accepted as a viable alternate marriage template. Same with other deviations that are recorded in scripture, because they violate what God has established from the beginning. Observe the videos I posted in the description below and come to your own conclusions, and see if what I have said makes sense. Thank you for taking the time to watch.